Are you kidding me? The next oh. 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 It's doable! <laughs> it's doable! Step me into that thing, dude! You're messed up. Tow me in, dude! Yeah, boys. What do you think? We're gonna score? Oh, it's on. We're gonna score, dude. What, what do we you say? Scoring? I got faith. We're about to drive six plus hours. To Connecticut? Um, God, dude, I don't even know where we're going. I'm not good at geography. But the point is, we're driving far, a lot further than other people in this swell, and we're gonna score. Yeah, it's, something's gonna happen up there. Where are we going, huh? I'm not at liberty to tell you where I'm going, but if Rip Curl or anyone wants to offer, yeah, you know what? if Rusty Surfboards wants to offer a little, Big birds? I can bring you guys down Big there. Big Birds game on tonight. I know, the Eagles are 1-0, first of all. Second of all, they're about to be 2-0. Third of all, there's thousands of surfers, if not thousands, at Lido Beach, New York City. <laughs> and we're going where no man has gone before. What's your claim? Fully nuking. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good claim. Let's go. Uh, all right. Um, this is the moment, dude. This is the moment you've all been waiting this for. This is what you wasted your whole week for. Oh, he will. He's a notoriously horrible tr jet ski driver. Or truck jet ski trailer driver. Ah, oh, man. I couldn't imagine trying to diss people and it just falls flat every time. <laughs> Why is that fucking things? Dude. Push the fucking button, guy. Update. Made it in to Mystic, Connecticut late last night. There's plenty of swell coming in, as you've seen. Piers are coming down. Beaches are getting washed out. People are sinking their Chevys in the sand. And we are here to find the dream. And how scared are you on a scale of one to 10? I don't know if scared is the word. Nervous, excited. Um, mostly anticipating whether or not we can get into the wave. Will I actually be able to whip young Jacob into the slab? <laughs> What'd you see coming over the bridge just now? A lot of wind. <laughs> a lot of wind. More than a lot of wind. There was like three foot waves coming from the <laughs> offshore wind. Reverse waves. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully they're not heading into uh, the Long Island Sound and screwing up our wave here in Connecticut. All right, brother. Don't. See, these guys know what's up. They just do what they want to do, dude. And they want to do it. And what are they doing? They're surfing, dude. Looks like a novelty wave to me. For sure. Dude, it's firing. What? Reminds me of Dog Beach. Hey, that's not too offshore, dude. That's perfect. Yeah. It's pretty offshore, though. Inside wave. Bouncy, floppy, wow. and real bouncy, dude. Anything but good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the left, dude. What you got there? Oh. Breakfast of champions. Well, pop tart? Dude, I think we should go to my beach break. Let's go. I think we should go. I think we should just. While the tide's up right now. Yeah, let's go. Shit. I think I know who this is. I think it's, it's that Ben Gravy guy. Holy oh, shit. Is that Ben Gravy? Is that Ben Gravy? All right, as of right now, everything is really windy, really, really high tide, but we found a fun little beach break. 
We're going to go catch a couple waves, get some waves under our belt. Hurricane Lee hammering Mystic, Connecticut right now. We're going to get some waves under our belt and hopefully get on the jet ski later today. But right now, wish us luck. Fun looking shore break for the dream. This one is for you. Sorry. <laughs> I got too, just I got too I'm excited. I'm the only one who wanted one. <laughs> All right, boys. How do we do, Zeke? I'd, I'd rather get your take because you're the out-of-towner. I got like six barrels that I made, a couple that I packed, and we surfed an empty, hollow, barreling beach break with nobody around except for one of our boys, Caleb, who happened to be from Newport Beach, and another guy that I went to high school with. What? David. The other guy out there that went in early on in the session. You went to high school with him? I went to high school, David. Wow, what are you talking crazy. about? I swear to God. He came up there and he's like, no, Jacob? Holy shit, dude. Earthquake! We got some good ones. Plan is now, potentially go send it. We gotta go check Ted's. No, no, no. The plan is to definitely send it, dude. Okay. We drove seven hours to Connecticut through New York City traffic, and we got some fun little barrels built up enough confidence to tow this outer death slab on dry rocks. That was really good to build that up. It was, right? Because I felt good out there. Yeah, yeah. If I went straight into the slab, I would have been like a little uneasy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now I'm feeling like confident, my body's warmed up. I'm fucking I'm ready. I'm dreaming, dude. And there's a novelty Psycho Mason Ho wedge that freaking blew every single wedge I've ever seen on the East Coast out of the water. The we, thing's pretty nuts. Are we gonna surf that too? The thing's pretty nuts. Yeah, we should surf that. We're gonna surf that, then go to the ultimate death slab and possibly die, but probably get some 20 footers with the ski. And um, yeah, fire it up for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, you married into the Italian legacy? It's like a cult, dude. See, my uncle is a third generation Italian from Sicily. I'm like 56% Italian. That's why you, you, and I don't even have you to need to use your up. hand more when you talk. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The Italians are like this. Check this out. So you're gonna tell me? You're gonna tell me that this looks exciting to you?
go, Ted. Oh. You're way, you're what? way in it, though. A, <clears throat> probably a 20-foot <throat> wave. Like, I think at low tide, it's like, this area isn't as, like, on the rock. Like, you might even be able to, it might be more out. Let me tell you, this little section right here, you, you don't want any part of that either. No, you know, no, definitely not, definitely not. Oh, my lanta. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a oh, 20 no. footer all day. Honestly, oh, dude, honestly, we could just shoulder ride them at first. <laughs> just shoulder hop them, feel them out. Yeah. Why not? How big do you think that wave is, honestly? To the tree. <laughs> <laughs> How big do you think it was? How big are those buoys? That's what we're it's bigger on. than that buoy. Oh, that buoy is like 18 feet tall. <laughs> so it's and a it 20 like foot. Overtook the buoy. So it's a 25 <laughs> foot face all day, breaking straight <laughs> on the jetty. <laughs> we're dead. I all right, here we are. Just checked it. I've been watching this wave for like five years. Never had the opportunity to go out because it smashes on the shoreline. Like, you don't really want to paddle this wave, pretty much is what I'm saying. It's hard to catch, it shifts a lot. But we have the ski, we got Zeke. Nothing else is really happening right now. So we are gonna do the biggest novelty wave I've ever surfed in my life. Yeah, it's probably the largest in size novelty yeah, 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 wave. Yeah, that's what I mean. Butterflies in the chest, definitely nerve-wracking launching somewhere you've never launched before. Once I get on the ski and get Zeke a couple ways, I'm going to start feeling better about it. It's good to be nervous, though, because if we were just cocky, like, thinking we had it, that's when things go wrong. So it's good to just be, like, analytical, make sure we're on top of it. It's not the sketchiest thing by any means, but... It's pretty freaking sketchy. But it's sketchy. sketchy. So, like, like, we just got to be safe about it. That's all. Might be the most offshore wave I've ever surfed in my entire life. Like the wind? <laughs> yeah. It's like 50 miles. <laughs> it's 43 miles per hour offshore oh right now. God. We're on. Ben set up my new tow board, convinced me to ride this thing, even though it's only like six foot out there. We launched the ski with the pineapple man. Yeah. And uh, transport this ultimate wedge. There's definitely Great. some bombs out there. Just so. grabbing my tow board. Oh, there it is. I thought that thing got retired. What happened? <laughs> Problematic, dude.
Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. It's doable! It's doable! Step me into that thing, dude! Your best Tow me in, dude! You serious? Yeah, tow me into that thing. Jack engine light keeps going off. We have to bail before we get into serious trouble. All right, the clams are beyond heavy. Zeke might have gotten the wave of the swell, dude. Definitely the biggest wave I saw the whole week. I know, that was heavy. Thanks, but Zeke. we went out, started towing. The wedge was hectic because the inside wedges were like peaking up perfectly and like we wanted to be on them, but we couldn't take the jet ski in that close because the whole beach is just cobblestone and big rocks. So we had to wait for the sets. There wasn't that many of them. Thankfully, Zeke and I both got one. We had the cheering section going nuts in the parking lot. <laughs> dude, there was a crowd on the beach, dude. <laughs> this guy paddled out, dude. I don't know what he was thinking. There's a guy paddling in Azure right now. <laughs> But what did Ted call him? Larry? I don't know. What was his name again? I think his name is Lenny. Lenny, Kai Lenny paddled out. What's up, bro? Yeah, there's some bombs, huh? Yeah, it was fun, dude. Yeah, the wind's literally sucking us into the middle of the ocean. Wild. And the wedges kind of come from like they come out of nowhere, dude. On a five six. I would I would ride a bigger board for you for sure. You could probably track it down like even on like an 80 soft top or something or like a big like I would ride like a 96 out here and have so much fun. You just chip into those wedges. But I'm, Oxy. I'm hyped, we both got one, and then the jet ski, we had a fuel sensor issue, another electrical sensor issue, yeah. and then a low battery thing and a check engine light. And I was like, dude, I've never had issues with my ski ever. It must be a sign. Like, I don't know what was gonna happen. Either like the doomsday wave was gonna come in, the ski was gonna end up on the rocks, but I take my signs with stride and uh, just didn't want to push it. We scored, Zeke got the bomb, and uh, it's only four o'clock, so we got a couple hours before dark, so we're on it. Dreaming. Man, oh man, I am so sorry. Oh. 